afternoon, everyone. My name is Alimat Arume from True Vision Television, and we are on the streets of Abuja to get the views and thoughts of people how they've been coping with CBN redesigning of Nera. Come with me as we go through the streets of Abuja to get their views and mindset, how they've been coping so far, and how it has been affecting their business so far. Thank you. You go to the bank now, no old money, no new money. And they say we should not collect the, the, the old money. Now look at business is staying. Children are crying for hungry. Nothing is going on in this country. And they're asking us to stay and do uh, and stop collecting old money. Why they are not printing the new money out? Hey, this is Nigeria. This is Nigeria. Why are we there? Eh? <laughs> Problem there. We are complaining of fuel before. Now it's cashless, cashless policy. Understand? No money at all, no cash at all. They are, in fact, they just want to kill all of us finish before they step down. Uh -huh. Yeah? Can, can we all die? No. I, I'm already dying now. We don't have cash. It's better if there's any way to talk to them, our president and the CBN governor, talk to them for them to release cash for us because we are suffering. No money, no cash. We have money, but we don't have cash. That's it. I've been struggling, but for a week and now, I was unable to get any cash, so I'm inside Plaza doing withdraw and transfer because I was unable to get cash. Many ways, because it's not what I used to get that I'm getting. Sometimes I will go without getting anything. And there was a day I think I I was at outside after one on Wednesday, one Wednesday that I wanted to do. I was because I didn't see anyone, so I was outside. They should sacrifice the money because we are enjoying, even if it's one money we are getting, at least the money is everywhere. We can withdraw with 100 naira and all that. But since this, the people have been running health us get that. You have cash, you have cash, you have cash. No cash, nothing, nothing. People are suffering with their own money. They should give us money so that we enjoy our suffering. Not to suffer and get the money and to spend the money, you have to suffer again. It's not right. There is no money, no cash, nothing, nothing, just like that. My brother, if you can look around, it's all these people now. If they buy even uh, Nepal, there's something we call governized Nepal, which we are selling 200 naira. They say they will transfer it for you because there is no cash in the country. It's affecting me bad, bad. If you are talking about affecting me, it's affecting me. But I believe in future it will be okay. But for now, masses are dying for it. People are suffering. It's a, it's a, a senseless police. Policy that is uh, not well conceived, not even implemented. The police have, have inflicted much pain and hardship on Nigerians. In fact, the police should be jettisoned. He said he wanted to do cashless policy. He's copying from India. When they did it in India, he failed colossal in India. When Britain, when the Great Britain did their own, they gave, they did two years. But now they want to do everything in 90 days. It's not, it's a useless policy. Go on the streets of Abuja. You see the pain. Go to what people are dying in the hospitals. Go to every filling stations. Even when the Supreme Court gave order that they should continue with the policy, the banks are not accepting the money. Hello, everyone. We are back from the streets of Abuja and we've come to get the mindset and views of Nigerians about the scarcity of cash. And I'm signing out now. It's your hostess, Ali Matarume. Thank you. <laughs>